Ahead of the 2023 general elections, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it has distributed 60% of the permanent voters' cards to eligible voters in Kaduna State, Northwest Nigeria. The resident electoral umpire in Kaduna said 479,000, which is 60% of the voters, have collected their PVCs across 23 local government areas in the state. Plus TV News correspondent Abila Darifal files in this report. The permanent voter card is one of the major criteria for eligible voters to exercise their rights as citizens. The Kaduna State Resident Electoral Commissioner Mahmouda Isa said INEC has successfully registered 479,231 prospective voters during the voter registration exercise, out of which about 60% of them have collected their PVCs and are ready to vote. He added that the Kaduna State INEC has received both sensitive and non-sensitive materials from the national headquarters ahead of the 2023 general elections. The Independent National Electoral Commission in Kaduna State has successfully registered 479,231 voters during, voters during the severe exercise between June 2021 and July 2022. So far, the distribution of permanent voters' card is almost 60 percent in the state. Meanwhile, the distribution of PVC on the state start on Monday, 12 December 2022 to Sunday. They expressed confidence in the electoral umpire with the use Beaver's machine, saying it will curb rigging and other forms of electoral malpractice. I'm 100% uh, uh, satisfied based on the kind of machines and uh, everything they provided. I doubt if there is going to be any malpractices there. So I strongly and realistically believe that there is going to be credible election, free and fair. Nothing will happen by the grace of God. Stakeholders appeal to INEC to be unbiased during the 2023 general elections to ensure that the votes of the people truly count. The assignment is to convey uh, election materials to all the 23 local governments, including wards and polling units. And we have been doing that over the years, and uh, there has never been a co uh, single complaint from INEC. So uh, what we have assured INEC that uh, we are going to uh, give them maximum cooperation and uh, uh, optimal performance like we have been doing. The REC has called on the public to shun thuggery, vote buying, drug abuse, as well as disease from spreading fake news as they are capable of sabotaging the entire elections. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.